Good morning, this is Mrs. Childs, and I wanted to make sure that we were supported in our distance learning. I know that we have some questions out there on how to math do math the new way. Well, this is called Common Core Math, and I know that for our families, it might be a little bit different from what we grew up with. So this is going to be a video about two-digit addition, two-digit subtraction, and it's going to contain some regrouping, some without regrouping. All right, so I hope you have a beautiful day. Keep learning, keep growing. Know that your teachers, whoever they are, love you so much and they wish you the best. And I'm wishing you a beautiful day today. I hope this helps families. Have a beautiful day. If I'm gonna do this quickly, we know that 52 and 31, I'm gonna look at the problem. I know that my tens is greater than my other tens and I know my ones here is greater than my other ones place. So there should be no regrouping there. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to 50, which, which is I know it's 50 and 2 because I have 5 ones, five tens and 2 ones. Subtract 3 tens, which is 30, right? And 1 ones. I can even draw for you 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, subtract 1, 2, 3, and 1, right? So I know if I'm subtracting these two, 1, 2, 3, 10, 20, and 30, and one, and I know my answer is 21, right? But if I'm doing it this way, I know that it's 50, two, 30, and one. I know that those two is 50 minus 30 equals 20, and I have two minus one, because I'm subtracting my similarities is one, and I know that it's 20 plus one equals 21. Same answer, different strategy. Now I have something that looks like this. This is regrouping because I know that my tens here, my tens place is greater than my tens place here. My 50 is greater than my 20, but my two ones is not greater than my five ones. So what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be doing something that's called regrouping. Um, a lot of us talked about this and we called it borrowing or carry the one. Um, we call it regrouping here. So I know that it's 50 and two, and I know it's 20 and five, right? I'm gonna put your addition signs because I know that 20 and five goes to this number and they stay together and 15 and two goes to this number, they stay together. All I'm doing is looking for their family number and looking for similarities. I know in my tens place, I can go 50 minus 20 equals 30. Now let me tell you why this is not going to work. My two and my five, I'm stuck, okay? So now this strategy right here would not work. So now I have to find something else. That's why I always say look at the problem. So now I'm going to try it again. I'm gonna go 52 minus 25. Whenever I'm looking at this and I know that I'm going to regroup because one of my numbers is not greater than the other number that I have to subtract, then that means that I'm going to do something else and it's called taking 10. I'm gonna break this down just a little bit differently. I, instead of doing my tens and my ones, I'm going to take a 10 from my from my 52. If I know that I took 10 from my 52, I know that on the other side is going to be 42 because I know that 52 and 10, my whole is 52. Then I'm going to subtract 20 and five, okay? Now I have 42 minus 20. I have 10, 20, 30, 41, two, right? Minus 20. So it's, I'm minusing my two tens, 10 and 20. So I know that it is 22 that I'm working with. And that's my new number. Then I have 10 minus five, 10 minus five. Now I'm not coming into the problem of not being able to subtract my two and my five because I was able to get a friendly number when I decompose it and took my 10. 10 minus five equals five. So I'm gonna add these two together. 22 and five is 27. So I know that that's my answer. Okay, now I'm going to move on to subtraction and this is going to be three digits. So I'm going to go 700 and I'm just gonna draw it for you just because this is new for many of us. Four, five, six, and seven, my two tens and my eight ones. Okay, subtracting two hundreds, two hundreds, one ten, and seven ones. So what is left is one, two, three, four, five. I have 500 plus 110, and then I have one one left. So I know that this is 500 
10 plus 1 equals 511.